Good morning, and if my voice sounds muffled, it's because I've got my bandit little handkerchief over my face and neck, because it's so cold! And it is really cold this morning, actually. Uh, for most of you, it'll, it'll seem cold. It's minus two degrees Celsius. And I will flash a Fahrenheit up on the wall there for you if you'd like. I don't know what it is because I don't speak Fahrenheit. It's an old dead language. Let it go. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it is bugging you. Embrace the metric system. You'll be much happier, I promise you. Anyways, <clears throat> and I'm just kidding. In fact, uh, I myself am bilingual when it comes to uh, measurement systems. As I speak at work, we speak both metric and imperial. So. You know, for example, hey, grab that 2x4 over there, cut it at uh, 2520, which would be 2.520 meters. So uh, I use Imperial for a lot of just quick measurements. Yeah, it's, uh, it's 185 and a half, you know, that sort of thing. But for fine, fine measurements or, or precision, I, I always use Imperial. It's just the way to go and there's less mistakes. It's one thing when you're doing it by yourself, you're looking at your tape and then you're transferring it over. But when you're giving measurements to other people, uh, there's always that chance that they're going to, uh, you know, mistake their uh, 15 sixteenths uh, or whatever for 5 sixteenths or who knows. Anyways, I'm not trying to convert you. I don't even know why we're talking about the metric system. Probably because of the Celsius versus Fahrenheit thing. But, you know, hey, if it works for you, use it. That's all I say. I don't, I really don't care. And miles per hour always, you know, zero to 60 will always be my, you know, in my mind when I think of speed instead of zero to 100. But zero to 100 is pretty much the same thing. Anyhow, it is cold. No, yeah, it is nippy, minus two. On my way to work, voice muffled, handkerchief over nose and mouth, down to my neck. And um, I thought I'd just check in with you, say hello. Uh, I hope everything's going well for you. Shields up. Uh, and what is going on in my life right now? There is, look, ah, man, life gets busy. and My life is busy right now. And that's not, you know, anything new to anyone else. Um, that guy's got a lot of light in the side of his uh, vehicle, eh? Everything's well lit. It's uh, Hyundai. Uh, so yeah, we got, we're still trying to get our house going. The lot is just about ready. We're waiting for some uh, permits to go through. Yada, yada, yada. We're working on the house plans at the moment, which is stressful because my, you know, my wife doesn't like that side of things. She knows what she wants, but to get it to fit on the lot and how it has to be orientated and uh, all that other stuff, it can be stressful. And last night we walked around Home Depot for a little bit, checked some things out, got some ideas on flooring and whatnot. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd just throw this out. It's, there's no, you know, crazy riding. In fact, right now I'm sitting at a red light, as you can see. Maybe we'll get a good rear ender. I got one here before. No, it looks like we're going to be good. And uh, I hope uh, I hope you understand if occasionally you get a little vlog like this, it uh, is not very exciting. And you know, that's just how it goes. So all the best to you guys. I hope things are going well. All my fellow moto vloggers out there, I hope you guys are doing well as as I am. Which means uh, for me, things are going at a steady pace. And um, you know, I wish I had some, oh, I got some, well, I don't want to talk about that because that'll kind of tip my hand. I got some, I got some things that I'm working on. I got some vlogs that I'm very excited uh, about. In fact, I shouldn't even say they're vlogs. I'm working on, I'm not gonna, that's it. I'm not gonna tell you anymore, that's it. I'm not, I, I, I turn into like Hagrid. I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. That's what happens to me when I start talking about things that I shouldn't be talking about. Anywho, um, and I'm hoping to get a couple of hangouts. Uh, going again. I've done one hangout on my own. It was fun. Had a good time. Um, but maybe uh, not too far in the future here. We'll get another one going. If you don't know what a hangout is, uh, it's on Google Plus uh, where you guys get to um, watch and sometimes participate. My last one I had all, I think all everybody except for 
Except for one? No, I think everybody were just subscribers. And we were talking about, you know, bikes and life and stuff like that. So, uh, I'll let you know though. I'll give you a good heads up. Anywho, I should go. It is actually uh, a little nippy. Not my body's fine. It's just my hands get a little. I got snowmobile gloves on, uh, and they and they do work well. But it, my ride is uh, it's 30 minutes to work. So at about uh, the 20 minute mark, I'm starting to feel it pretty good on my fingertips. And uh, by the time I get to work, I'm pretty happy to sit by the heater for about 15 minutes and warm up. All right, let you go. Got to go. Carry on. Thank you very much. I appreciate. And you guys who have subscribed lately that have hit the old subscribe button, I thank you very much. A special uh, appreciative thank you. Uh, very uh, grateful to Kalani who uh, was kind enough to give me a, a Facebook shout out and encourage his uh, subscribers to come and check out my channel. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers, which is kind of the, like the next landmark in my uh, motorvlogging uh, career, quotation marks on that. So uh, thank you very much for coming along for the ride. I got some, uh, I got some more trail riding coming up. That I'm trying to put together on the old computer. So I hope to have that out soon. And as uh, is usual with me, I try to quit and I get talking, but I'm really gonna quit now. Thanks for riding with me. I'm off to work. And we will talk to you later.